Greetings people of the internet, Hybrid Cheap here, and today we're going to be talking about Grand Theft Auto 5 news. So just to start off with, are you a PlayStation 3 owner in North America or Latin America? If so, good news. Rockstar have just announced that you can pre-order the digital version of Grand Theft Auto 5. The game will be available to download on day one and you'll get the Atomic Blimp pre-order bonus. Just like those who have ordered the box disc copy. And those of you who are in Europe, don't worry, you'll be able to pre-order too. You just have to wait until Friday. That sucks. America get everything first. I'm gonna move to America. Yeah. Why not? But yeah, that that bit of news is quite old. I'm not sure how old, so Yeah. Oh, here's another one. Yeah. You can uh, you can smoke weed in GTA five and do other kinds of drugs. It's gonna be quite funny. Um yeah, what else? Yeah, ESRB said that players can get high. Uh, Nudity-free sexual encounters, drunk driving, and smoking pot. That's what the people who experience. Mm-hmm. There's lots of rumours going around about GTA 5. Don't always believe them. You know, they might not be true. They could be true, but just think of them as not true at all. And wait until Rockstar actually produce it. The actual thing is saying it is true or if it's not. So wait until Rockstar to release the stuff. Oh yes, you can get a limited edition strategy guide. In this open world action game, players assume the role of three car- criminals whose storyline intersect within the functional city of Los Santos. Players can switch between each character to follow his storyline, completing missions which often include criminal activities, e.g. stealing cars, executing heists, assassinating targets. Players use pistols, machine guns, sniper rifles, and explosives to kill various enemies, e.g. their rival gang members and such. Players also have the ability to shoot from non-adversary civilians, though this may negatively affect players' progress as a penalty system triggers a broad plea search, blood splatter, oh god, blood splatter effects occur frequently, and the game contains, contains rare dissipants of dis... Memberment. That is lovely. You get to chop people's heads off and stuff like that. I remember that in San Andreas actually. That was uh that's my favourite thing to do, get a sniper off and shoot people in the head and uh blow their heads off because the blood squirts out of them and they just drop dead. It's pretty cool. I don't know if any of you noticed, but Rockstar have released some three sixty degree animations of three GTA five the cars in question are the Benefactor Feltzer, a Bay Tailgater, and the Coil Voltic. In a huge, huge new interview, Rockstar North President Leslie Benzies has tiptoed around the G- idea of GTA 5 on PS4. When asked about next generation, he replied, We'll get the current current gen version out, out first and see what happens in the future. So not, not a, exactly a no then. Very nice. Uh, as you can see, you're watching some trailers at the moment while I'm talking, but uh, this one comes at the end. GTA Online is an incredibly ambitious, persistent online world that runs parallel to GTA 5's single player. That's the headline news of GTA 5 O'Clock's recent trip to Rockstar North. During their time at the ultra-secretive Edinburgh developer hosts Daniel Dawkins and Tim Weaver were treated to an extensive demo of GTA Online, where they were given details on everything from co-op heists to extremely smart money systems. That is what I'm looking forward to. So GTA 5's trailer has been revealed and the multiplayer is huge, MMO, than a series of deathmatches. There's everything from heist to pull, flats to rent, plus a certain content creation system. And there's lots of new uh, screenshots coming out all the time, but uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll be very good. I'm sure the game's going to be good. Let's hope so anyway. GTA 5 is much faster than GTA 4. Characters won't do f- d- crazy things for no reason. Ooh, expect very intense missions from the start, say Rockstar. Grand Theft Auto 5 will capture your attention immediately when bombastic kickoff. With a bombastic kickoff, Rockstar North President Leslie Benes- Benzies. My apologies. Has told. Yuzakto, Yuza, I'm not sure what that is, in a new, it's told us in the new interview, which also sheds light on the game's capability, 
capacity for insanity and choice of multiple player protagonists. The following quote, quote come from care of, of Google Translate and a little polishing of my part. So treat them gingerly. Lovely. So what can we see in these trailers? Well, there's lots to see. I'll now do an anal analysation of each trailer. So what can you see in this picture? Well, on the left hand side, you can see a man in a green t-shirt. On the right hand side, you can see a guy in a college jacket. On the floor, you're able to see some rollers, like you see in the postal centre, or the airport, or places like that. He seems to have a really nice gun. It looks like it's on a construction site, as there's scaffolding or a crane here, to the left, and just in front of the guy with the green hat, the green t-shirt and the black hat, there's a yellow tractor thing. The imagining of modern Southern California. Ah, oh, Mount Chiliad, my favourite place to be. As you can see here, you've got rocks. And on the left hand side, rocks. Right hand side, oh my god there's a town. And rocks. Yeah, it's surrounded by sea on the right hand side of the picture. Where if you look down, there's lots of beach area all around the coastal there. If you look just down to the left hand corner, bottom left hand corner I should say, you can see looks like trailers, I'm not sure, caravans, I'm not sure. But on, as we're going back to the right hand side, in the middle of the picture, sort of, middle right, uh, you can see some town and a long road. That road used to be the craziest road on San Andreas I knew. I used to drive all the way down to where you can see the indent, the first indent, massive indent in the proper middle of the picture now. I used to drive to about there and you'd see about a hundred million, hundred millions, whatever, you want to, you know, Google Play, I don't care, so many ca uh, crashes happening there. It was unbelievable, but it was so funny, they're trying to dodge them. Expensive stores and strip malls, urban decay and untouched wilderness, beaches and backwoods, the sublime and the ridiculous, greed and hypocrisy. You tell me exactly what you want, and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. For the first time, the game features not one, but three would-be heroes. So now what? Michael, a once successful bank robber, and now less successful family man. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just say to me? Stop it! You're ruining my yoga! Franklin, a hungry street hustler convinced he's surrounded by morons. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting cheap asshole. And then there's Trevor. Fuck. The less said about him, the better. Ah! Introducing three lead characters transforms both the narrative into one interwoven story and the structure of individual missions. Players can cut between vantage points. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. And from one high octane moment to another. I got you. He's got support! Get us out of here! Roger that! This helps to give missions new levels of diversity and intensity. Damn. When not on a mission, the use of three lead characters also allow for a touch of voyeurism. As you can drop in at any moment and find out what your new friends have been up to as they go about their days. Jeez, Pop. Too much more of that and maybe I won't be dead by 35. The world is not only huge, it's packed with a vast array of things to see and do. Cars to customize, planes to fly, clothes to buy, sports to play, nirvanas to pursue, oceans to dive, animals to spot, hunt, and be hunted by, freaks to watch, meet, and befriend. Now get the hell out of here! Bounties to hunt, and on and on. How have you been? Oh. Simply wonderful. And you? Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. 
There's also been a huge focus on mechanics in the game to make every aspect as fun and fluid as it is broad. Everything from driving and shooting to tennis and bike riding feels fun and responsive. However, alongside all of this leisure, people also have to take care of business. For all their pretensions, these men are dangerous thieves. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack. To survive, they have to set up and pull off a series of increasingly audacious heists. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? The player sets these up themselves, then decides how they execute them and with whom. There's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, let's go. Or we go in loud and dumb. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment! Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing. After the take is divided, you decide what to spend your money on. Anything from sensible investments, like tattoos and fast cars, to risky ventures like stocks and Los Santos real estate. And then there's Grand Theft Auto Online, which we will show you properly soon. With Grand Theft Auto Online, Rockstar Games is looking to bring the heart of the Grand Theft Auto experience to a living online world with multiple players. Just what you choose to do in that world is up to you. The game combines a persistent and continually expanding world full of personalities. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> well, that was awkward. With a wide array of redesigned mechanics, and a huge range of both structured and unstructured activities for you to do. After you fly into Los Santos, you're introduced to the world and its many opportunities for earning and spending money. You need to better represent yourself, you know what I'm talking about? Having fun and getting into trouble. You can run around on your own making friends and enemies or band together and form a crew. Then tackle a heist, rob a liquor store, or compete in classic online modes. Or do much more besides. Complete any job, and you'll make money and earn reputation. Then you can spend petty cash customizing your character, their outfit, weapon of choice, or favorite vehicle. As you make some real money, maybe you can buy an apartment so friends can stop by and hang out. Or buy a garage, fill it with custom vehicles, and then take them racing by land, air, and sea. Or simply cruise around showing off. Everything you do helps you progress through the world, introducing you to new characters. Now keep your mouth shut about me, you hear? New missions rewards, and almost limitless opportunities. Rockstar will be constantly developing more content for you to enjoy, but you'll also be able to design your own races and death matches using the content creator. Then you can share them with friends and the world, or try ones other people have made. Grand Theft Auto Online brings the freedom of the Grand Theft Auto experience to multiple players in a dynamic shared world.